Hello everyone. Welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install this Ubuntu 15.04 really Werewolf server. Uh, that is 64 bit. This is I am going to install it in virtual box. And you can find my about my website is www.cloudnetwork.in is a website where you can find my all all tutorials, tips and tricks, troubleshoots uh, in my websites uh, related to related to uh, you can find Mac also Windows Server Ubuntu Red Hat Linux Fedora all your tips and tricks you can find so let us begin now first of all uh, supported for this Ubuntu 15.0 supported only for nine months and it supports for uh, everything like desktop server core Q Ubuntu X Ubuntu L Ubuntu also other flavors also supports for only for nine months and uh, minimum requirements you need to have is one giga processor or dual processor and then you need to have one gb of ram uh, and you need to have this space of this space of 10 gb you need to have space and for this graphic card display card at least you need to have 104 into 786 and you need to have either you can install in your laptop or your desktop in a server you can install with the dvd or usb port you need to make a both uh, bootable uh, for the installations in with the dvd or usb and usb you need to have at least 8 gb of pen drive or 8 gb or 4 gb also it support and dvd also you can have 4 gb of and you need to have internet access so let us begin now uh, this is my web uh, ubuntu server website 15.04 uh, you can see this is your ubuntu and where you can download this one ubuntu server you need to click here after that it will be redirected or you can open the link you will find this all links in my descri description so that you can copy and just paste it here so here is ubuntu 15.04 and you need to select the image which installation you want this is for intel supported this is for amd supported and this one is mac supported and ibm also supported the installation this is power pc supported so all these are supported for this your installation 32 bit 64 bit and this is also supported for this both uh, 32 bit and 64 bits and here is scroll down to find the installation here you can download here 64 bit iso image directly this is the size of showing 607 is the mb for this in server installation image that means 64 bit supported amd is this processor and you can find this uh, 32 bit here people you can download 603 mb for the server installation and when you scroll down you will find others like this is one your uh, others power pc and uh, this is your power pc and this is your this one is your mac so so open your virtual box and click to new and that you need to give a name ubuntu 15.010 okay select your version 32 bit or 64 bit click on next assign this your ram and giving exact point at the green do not go to the red point you need to stay at the green point only next go for the next next uh, here is the size of my hard disk which i am giving at least 40 gb so this just now change my location you can keep the location also by default click to create now and then we need to go to the, um, settings to need to we need to set the some of the small settings here uh, here we need to click on systems and check with lobby and then go to your okay then go to processor enable the apax and then go to your storage click on empty click on here choose your and then you need to double click the iso image where you have downloaded go to network select bridge adapter okay then click ok go to start now so coming so here you can try ubuntu without the installation if you want to install the Ubuntu, you need to click on install the Ubuntu. It will be installed in your hard disk. So you can select your language, which language you belong to. Just click to install now. You can see this is all things are okay. Go to continue here. Now we came the partitions. Now what will we do? It will be delete all your programs, document, photo, music, everything from your hard disk. 
before that one you need to take a backup and then continue with the installations or else you can do something else like you want to have a recite partitions you want to give a ma manually partitions or you can do multi partitions also click to install now restart in now so now we came to on the wel welcome screen here you can see on the screen so this is the final uh, installation welcome screen has been completed you can go for your updates and whatever you can browse here ubuntu software center is there so so for any clarification you can comment below to my media like us and share my video please subscribe to cloudnet channel thank you for watching the cloudnet video